For this first test, we're going to use uh, this generator. Um, it is a HP two two uh, HP three three one two zero arbitrary function generator. It only goes up to uh, fifteen megahertz, but we're going to use it at fourteen megahertz, uh, like a twenty meter uh, band ham radio. So fourteen uh, fourteen megahertz, and we're going to set the uh, output power level at zero dBm. All right, now the cable comes down uh, over to a splitter. Uh, let's see, where's the splitter? Here's the splitter. Let me make it into focus. Okay, so this is a uh, HP power splitter. So the signal's coming in, it's getting split two ways equally. And so one side's gonna go to the tiny SA, and one side's gonna go to the 8921A, and I'll get everything in screen here. There we go. All right. So this is a 14 megahertz center, 14 megahertz center with a 10 megahertz span, 10 megahertz span. And we're seeing the carrier and we're seeing a little spur out here. So that's real. I'm not sure who's generating that. Um, maybe it's something in the room or I doubt that it's the generator. Uh, let me uh, disconnect the generator for a second. Oh, it does go away, so the generator maybe is making that. All right, don't know why. Okay, so, but it's showing up on both, so that's a good, that's a good sign. Um, over here, we're measuring uh, about 9.8 uh, dBm, and over here, we're measuring 6.3 dBm. Should be split 50-50, so within tolerance, I think they're matching okay. All right, so uh, the first test we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in, okay? So we have a uh, 100 megahertz sweep right now. Let's go to a 10 megahertz sweep. Uh, do we have a 10 megahertz sweep? We'll go to a one megahertz sweep. There we go, one megahertz sweep. And over here, we'll go to a, a one megahertz sweep. And you can see that we have a lot of phase noise in, on the uh, tiny SA. So we have the carrier still. It's a very clean carrier, but uh, on, the, on the SA, we're getting a lot of phase noise. All right, so let's zoom in some more. Let's zoom into, where are we, one megahertz. Let's go to 100 kilohertz. And we will zoom in to 100 kilohertz. And so it's kind of a funny shape. Uh, it's not a nice shape like uh, this here. That's probably an artifact of the IF filters that the uh, tiny SA has, uh, whereas this has a very narrow, um, we're looking at about a one, one kilohertz bandwidth here and we're at a 2.6 kilohertz bandwidth here, so we'll have a better bandwidth on this side. And so it's a bit, uh, a bit lumpy. So let's go in a little bit further. Let's go to a 10 kilohertz sweep. And over here, we'll go to a 10, 10 kilohertz sweep. And this one's just kind of falling apart. So uh, yeah, it's not doing a good, not doing a good job at uh, small sweeps. All right, so let's go back to, oh, let's go back to 100, 100 hit kilohertz sweep on both sides. Now I'm going to introduce an AM modulated carrier, okay? So I'm going to set the uh, carrier frequency to, let's see. Uh, let's see, we'll do FM, AM, and oh, there we go, it's already set. So we're looking at a uh, 10 kilohertz, 50% modulated signal. So we can see that here, we're out here at the 10 kilohertz marks, since we have a 100 kilohertz span, so exactly right. And uh, we have a nice, uh, nice view of the carriers. And over here, it's just, it's just not right. Uh, we're getting a little bit of uh, uh, strangeness, I guess, is the best way to say it. So it's not really seeing this, uh, this very well. 
Uh, let's change to a five kilohertz. Um, So we're able to see it fine over here. We have a resolution bandwidth of one kilohertz and uh, we don't have the resolution bandwidth here to see that. So um, I think the maximum resolution bandwidth this is, uh, oh, I don't remember now, sorry. Uh, what does it say? 2.6 kilohertz. I think that's the maximum resolution is 2.6 kilohertz. Now 2.6 kilohertz, we should be able to resolve five Five kilohertz of carrier, but I don't see it. So let's. Uh... Here's seven kilohertz. Yeah, it's just it's just not op operating well. Here's uh, twenty kilohertz. It's the largest I can go. And uh, so you can see they've moved quite far apart. You can sort of see them here. The intensity is is way too low. Uh, so it's just not operating well. Let's go back to 10. All right. Uh, oops, I changed the carrier. 14. And there we go. 10 kilohertz uh, carriers on a 14 megahertz uh, signal. And uh, we're just not seeing a good thing over here. Let me let me FM modulate it just for fun. Uh, now we're FM modulating. And level deviation. We'll do deviation of 10 kilohertz. There we go. Deviation of 10 kilohertz. And that's interesting. So they are displaying quite different quite different things. Okay, for this next test, I want to test the dynamic range. So I'm inputting a 14 megahertz signal and I'm going to be lowering the signal and we can see it on both. Now over here, we have it set to a center frequency of 14 megahertz with a span of one megahertz. Here we're also at 14 megahertz center with a span of one megahertz. And I'm gonna be taking the signal, which is right now at zero dBm, and I've run it through a uh, precision uh, attenuator that's a 100 and 120 dB attenuator. Uh, so we can go quite low with that. And so let's, let's go here. All right, so they're both set to zero dBm uh, reference at the top. So zero and then it goes down. So let me step the attenuator. So it went down 10 dB on both. 10 dB, 10 dB, 10 dB, 10, 10. And uh, we can't quite see it here because it's gone off the screen. So let's set the, let's, re, let's go back and uh, well, let's just do it here. Let's set the top reference level. That's what the top of the screen is going to register. We'll set that to uh, uh, minus 40. So now the top is minus 40. So this is uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, but we're about, about minus 84 d, uh, dB right now. Let's set the top of this uh, back. Let's see, scale, reference level, manual, uh, 40, change sign. Oh, I guess I can't do that. Uh, I have to hit the minus sign first. Manual, minus 40. There we go. So there's our minus 40 on both screens at the top. And then let me click the attenuator wrong way. Let's go down farther. 
farther, farther. So we've kind of hit the bottom end of what either one can see. We're right around 100, minus 100 dBm. And our noise floors are right around 110 dBm on both. So noise floor is quite good on the, uh, on the tiny SA. Uh, I would say it has a phase noise problem, not a dynamic range problem. So, uh, okay, for the next test, um, I've hooked up an external antenna. So we're looking at the FM band on both. We've centered at 100, 100 megahertz on both, and we're span is uh, 10, 10 megahertz on both. And the reference level is set to minus 30 dBm. And you can see the, uh, see the difference. Uh, this one seems to have more dynamic range. This one seems to have a, a kind of a solid noise floor. So we seem to have more dynamic range on, on the uh, 8921. Another thing we can do on the 8921 is add averaging. Uh, so we can do, we can average uh, 10 readings. And so I don't know what type of averaging the, uh, the Nano does. I, don't, I, I haven't seen a setting for, for changing that or not. Uh, so you can see that they're starting to look more similar uh, when I add averaging. So that's pretty comparable. I would say they are fairly comparable in that respect. Okay, so the final test for this video is going to be uh, looking at the uh, harmonics here. So we're uh, sending out a carrier at uh, 14 megahertz, no modulation. And um, we have a spread of 50 megahertz. So from zero to 50 megahertz. Over here, we have zero to 50 megahertz. And you can see that uh, the carrier is pretty clean over here. And this one has a couple uh, harmonics. It has that harmonic at the beginning, uh, before the pulse, and then it has two extra ones where things look quite clean over here. So um, I believe that's the structure of uh, the up conversion, down conversion uh, of the, uh, the tiny SA plus the resolution bandwidth of the uh, IO filters and stuff like that. So those are hard things to get rid of. Those are, those are what people get paid to do when they design spectrum analyzer. Those are the, those are the things they worry about. So first test impressions are, seems to work fine when the, when the uh, resolution bandwidth isn't too small. Uh, you're sweeping over a, a large number uh, instead of looking at a fine detail. It seemed to fall apart when we started to look at small things like uh, carrier modulations and things like that. But for uh, larger effects, uh, it, it seems to do an okay job.